So here it is the interface of the Google Glass Enterprise Edition 2. So um, here it is like the simplified Android home screen with the settings. I'm swiping to change between these two screens. This one is about settings, so now I tap. I can see the battery, the Wi-Fi, and some other settings. I'm just swiping. I can change them. Now you can see them in this, you know, mirroring, but inside I can see the screen getting dimmer or brighter. So I confirm it. About device, system. So I can change the date and time, the language. I can see the developer options. So I just tapping, then returning back by swiping down and swiping left and right to change options and navigate inside the menu. So this is pretty interesting. You can also access the Android settings. You see, it's, it's funny. So going here instead, we have a list of apps. Some of them are, were pre-installed in this device. Some others I have um, created them myself. So I downloaded the samples from the GitHub repo of the Google Earth samples and I installed them. <clears throat> so let's see some of them. So, for instance, you know, I can use this to shoot some photos and videos. So let me select it. You can see I activate the camera, and that's pretty interesting because I can shoot a photo about what I'm seeing with my eyes. So it's a bit like with Arabian stories. So just look where I want to have a photo, and I click to tap a photo. So like this, a photo of the computer. I can also make a video if I want, but now it's pretty useless. I can, I downloaded this cool app about notes. So I select it and I can record, you know, a note. So let me try it. Hello everyone, I am Tony. And then if I don't swipe down, I have this note and I can add other ones. So I have also other notes about other demos about vocal voice commands or voice recognition, so like this one. And here if I say something here, it recognizes, it says okay, like uh, play. Yes, if I say ba bam, boom doesn't work. So you recognize only those commands and it's pretty interesting. Here it is also a QR code reader. So if I press it, it activates the camera. And if you have a QR code that you can show it, now I don't have one in front of me. Uh, let me pick maybe the one of, you know, of um, hit motion. That it's our game, you know, I always say that, our game on App Lab. So I just have the hit motion QR code in front of me. I tap it. Now it's bam. Have you seen that? He says, understood that is a link to side quest reading it from the QR code on the screen. So these are interesting samples. There is also one about a video call since this is used mainly for remote assistance and reading barcodes. Uh, this would be pretty interesting, but actually it doesn't work uh, because the service has been shut down. I tried to connect it with an alternate service I found online, but it doesn't work as well. So I can't show it to you, but this guy's capable of having phone calls via video calls via WebRTC so that someone can see what I'm seeing and give me feedback to the speakers. So this is the demo for QR code is important because this is mostly used, as I said, to scan barcodes in logistic warehouses and to have to record notes about 
something that is happening, you know, for remote assistance, you want to record a note about the machinery that is broken, and also the, the video call to have a call with the control center and the control room of your company. So they are just demos, um, but of course it's an enterprise device, so it's meant that you or your company creates applications for it. So these are two of the UX. I think it's, you know, pretty neat the navigation with this kind of, you know, swiping, left, right, up, down, and tapping. I think it's super neat. So it's very little, but effective UI.